Okay, so what did you do? Alright, so I have trials, which is how far it's going to run. Um, I have a table um, of the sequences that work, uh -huh. um, which I add to in the program, and then I have a table of the lengths of those sequences, which is just the corresponding lengths in the above table. Uh -huh. um, so I have each run as is a table, which I, I add to. Um, okay. So for i equals one, I listen trials. So mm -hmm. while the roll is not a six, what did roll start off as? So roll is zero. At the that, beginning. Okay. So yeah. then you you pick a random integer. Good. Yeah, and then so if the roll um, is an even number, I add it to my sequence, uh -huh. and if it isn't, I ignore it. Okay. So. I'm ending up with a sequence of even numbers ending in 6, although it's a slightly different way of getting to it. Okay. Um, and then I just add my run and length to the corresponding tables and reset run and roll. Okay. And, and then, then what do you get? So I get about 3. All right, with 10,000 runs to run it again? Yeah. Okay, yeah, and exactly. then run it one more time. We're just, just demonstrating that it's consistently <laughs> getting around 3. So okay. It's roughly 3. Okay. So now this is fascinating. So your brother got around one and a half and you got around three. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between what you did? So I just, I basically have a, a set of random dice roll sequence that uh -huh. ends in six and I just take out all of the odd numbers from the sequence. Okay. Um, where he would go, like in my sequence of just a random dice roll, he would go from the last odd number until the six, uh -huh. um, which I guess would result in the shorter sequence. So this doesn't this doesn't quite do it. Well, but what is what have you, what you have done is equivalent to something that we so discussed. So I did basically the three sided dice example. This is the three sided dice mm -hmm. example. It turns out. So on the three because you're ignoring. Uh, yeah, so ones, threes, and fives. Yes, I'm yeah, just saying sorry. those, those don't exist. I couldn't remember what odd numbers were. You're ignoring ones, threes, and fives. But what your brother did is, what did you do with an odd number? Um, just ended the sequence completely. Yeah, you just started over every time you saw an odd number. Mm -hmm. So he has a six-sided dice and starts over on an odd number. You, in effect, have a three-sided die. And the interesting thing, we, we, we didn't plan this, but we talked about it in the thing, was mm -hmm. are those things different? And it turns out they are. they are, yeah. It turns out they are. Now that you found a three-sided die takes three rolls to roll a six, how long do you think it takes a six-sided die with no restrictions? Probably six rolls. Probably six mm -hmm. rolls. So if we do this with the, with the odd numbers starting over, we go from six runs to get a six to, what was it, one and a half? Yeah, one and a half. One and a half runs to get a six. And if we do it as if it's a three-sided die, we go from six to three. So given how the question was phrased, oh, I have it here, it probably shows up on the screen, all right? What do you think the answer to this question is? Maybe three halves. Yeah, one you, and a half. You think it's three halves? Okay. All right, good work this morning, guys. This was really fun.